Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation, and today's project is inspired by the Batman Arkham series of games. The Arkham games have a combat system that is referred to as free flow combat, which, as the name suggests, allows fights to flow more dynamically. I always admired the way the system works, and in order to practice my development skills, I wanted to dissect and try to create a similar system using the Unity engine. So let's break down the main components needed for the recreation of the free flow combat. First, we have the basic combat functionality responsible for detecting enemies and activating animations. Then there's the enemy behavior that adds movement and attacks to it that allows the implementation of the counter system for the player. And finally, there's the basic AI that manages the states at which the enemies are to create a simplified combat loop. I started by creating a new project using the Unity High Definition Render Pipeline, mostly because of the realistic approach to graphics that the Arkham games have. Then I imported the official Mix and Jam character into the project, which includes a simple movement script for prototyping. I also made clones of the character with different skins to represent different enemies. One of the main features of the free flow combat is that it allows you to select the target that you're going to hit by moving the controller's joystick. So by using Unity's input system, I was able to get the value of the character's movement axis to identify its direction relative to the camera. I then use that value to define the direction of a sphere cast that detects if there is any enemy in the way, storing it as the current target of the script. With this basic detection, I needed to implement the player movement towards the target after the attack input. There are many ways to approach this, but I chose to use one of my favorite plugins, Dootween, to simplify the process by using functions that allow me to look at and move towards the target at the same time with a specific duration. During this action, I also created a coroutine that serves as a cooldown for the player to be able to do the attack process again. This coroutine disables the player movement and also activates the is attacking enemy boolean for a little while. In order to implement attack animations, I headed over to Mixamo to download some punch and kick animations. For every downloaded animation, I had to go over their keyframes and set a specific animation event at the contact moment of the motion. This animation event triggers a function that all enemies are listening to but the hit itself only works in the enemy if it's the same as the current target from the combat script. To add a bit more impact to the attacks, I've added a particle system that uses a material with the distortion settings of the HDRP unlit material. Then I started working on the enemy behavior by first adding movement options. To circulate the player rather than just moving left and right, the enemy is constantly looking at the player, then using the perpendicular direction to the facing direction for movement. The function that moves the enemies also allows them to move backwards and forwards. In order for the enemy to attack the player, I made them use the movement function to reach the player, and once they are in a specific distance, they would activate their attack animation, which uses the same animation event feature to send a message to the player's script. At this moment, I started implementing the behavior that allows the player to counter the enemy attack. In the same coroutine where the enemy forward movement is activated, I also call a function that activates the is preparing attack boolean that basically means that the enemy could be countered at any moment. For this to be more clear and visible, I made a particle system with custom sprites to have a visual similar to the game. Back on the player combat script, I implemented a function that is called whenever the counter button is pressed. This checks if an enemy is preparing an attack, and if that is the case, it would target an attack on that specific enemy. And if the enemy was close enough, the same function would move the character towards the opposite direction of the enemy before the attack to really indicate that the player has dodged the incoming hit. 
Then I added a simple health variable to the enemies that would be reduced for every hit they would receive. Once their health reached zero, they would activate a final death animation and not be available anymore for the enemy detection. In the Arkham games, once you eliminate the last enemy, the camera zooms in on the action and slows down time. I tried to replicate this by creating a new virtual camera that used a new object with the Cinemachine Group Target component to frame the player and a specific target. So on the moment the player hits the last enemy, I created a coroutine that reduces the time scale and activates that second virtual camera for the moment of the hit. Lastly, for all of these systems to be properly playable, I needed to implement a simplified AI. For this, I have set four different states that the enemies could be in. Idle, attacking, retreating, and circulating. For the main AI loop, the script basically sets a random enemy to the attack state while sets the other enemies to either idle or circulating. Then, the AI cycle waits until the attacking enemy has finished their action to set it to the retreating state to repeat the cycle with another random enemy. I did have to make a lot of tweaks to make sure that the cycle wouldn't break any logic. With this, I had an AI that worked well enough to allow the free flow combat to be playable. And of course, after a bit of adjustments, this is how the project turned out. If you're interested in downloading and checking out the code behind this, there's a link for the project's repository in the description of this video. A massive thanks to those who support me on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and sharing this video with friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.